So I was at this um, this walk-in freezer on Sunday. Today's Thursday. And this restaurant had several issues. The thermostat was bad. Uh, it was stuck open, so the condenser wasn't coming on, obviously. I jumped it out. Um, one of the evaporator fans, the, the bracket that holds the fan, one of the arms was broken. Also, the power wire for one of the fan motors rubbed on the sheet metal and it arced, you know, burnt off the wire, so I had to fix that. Um, and also, the fan delay switch for the, uh, for the evaporator fans was bad. So even though the coil was frosting up, the indoor fans, the evaporator fans were not coming on because the fan delay switch was bad. So that I replaced, you know, I got it going Sunday when I was here. But I'm a, now I'm back here again. We're gonna go inside. I'm just giving you like a like a rundown of what was going on before, so you kind of understand when we go into the in the box now. So I'm gonna get my tools. We're gonna go inside. The restaurant is right over there in the corner or whatever, in that hallway or whatever. But, right. So we're gonna get the tools. Go in there and I'll turn the camera back on. I'll let you see what's going on inside. Alright. Alright, so I'll show you what we got going on here. Um, if you can see this. I had to turn it off. That way it's not so cold in here and you know. Uh, let me get this. So I was here over the weekend and I had just so these wires don't short out. Stuck a piece of cardboard in there. Alright, so one issue was these electrical wires they rubbed I don't know if you can see that but right there they rubbed and it, and it burned so we have to put a knockout there anytime you run your electrical wiring through sheet metal always put a a grommet or whatever a, a plug whatever you want to call it plastic ring an insert uh, another is so that's one issue that I had another issue is this fan leg here um, busted it goes like this. This busted, but I'm gonna weld it up and put that back on. And also the thermostat, if you can see, I don't know if you can see a thermostat back there. I kind of pulled it off the wall. So it's on the back of the coil. It's a pain in the ass to adjust. So we're gonna relocate it right here with some conduit going around to the back. We're gonna put a new thermostat, put a knockout, weld up this leg. And I already replaced the fan delay switch, the three wire, the combination switch, which is this wire right here. I mean, this sensor here, if you can see that right here. The red is the hot, the common going in, the new, well, it's the neutral wire you wire up in there. The black goes to your fans, so when the evaporator gets cold, um, below, on this particular switch, it's set for. 35 and 55 so at 35 degrees it's going to close red to black turn your fans on and, and then if defrost if it gets too hot above 55 degrees it's going to close red to brown send power up to your x terminal on the timer and kick it out of defrost so um a lot of people bypass it but you really want it because you don't want to run extended defrosts if you don't need it so um, is there for a reason you know a lot of people oh, I'll jump it out you don't need it that's all crap whatever don't listen to that um, so all right so I'll get on it I'm gonna start running my thing I'll show you the thermostat my conduit whatever and um, thing all right
That's all there is to it. Alright. Alright. So, we got that leg welded up. Looks pretty good. It's not going to move. We got a half inch knockout in there. Alright. Let's see. And then we got a thermostat with conduit or a sensing bulb. I'm going to go ahead and put the fan blade on and mount this on and we'll see it once it starts back up. Um, so this rod, a little bit about this rod, this is, um, I don't know, I got it at Home Depot, it comes in a pack, a clear tube with a red cap at the end. Uh, it's just like a gold looking rod with flux coating on the outside, I don't know the name of it, but uh, I went to Home Depot and saw it. It, it says uh, welding, like a brazing, like gas welding. So I figured, oh, let me, you know, try it out. Works pretty good, as you can see. Um, I uh, I repaired several blower motor um, brackets, everything like that. Um, it's pretty good. It's something good to have on the truck for sure. But, uh, this, so this, so when you're working in a freezer, a good um, tip, whatever, the side panel, when you take it off, you put it down, and this is like your, like your work area, because there's no um, flat shelving, it's all wire shelving, so it's kind of a pain to, um, you know, you can't set small items down. Obviously, they fall through. You can put them on a box, but then they come in and move the box and stuff like that. So. So, yeah. Okay, so. We got, uh, so it's 18 degrees here in the freezer. Got a new thermostat, sensing bulb, got the motor bracket welded up, a new fan delay switch, and we also put the grommet, you know, the half inch knockout, so the wires don't rub anymore. And it looks like it's running good, it's not making any noise or anything. Um, usually these freezers are pretty tight, so you have to like climb on the shelves and stuff like that. So to get that thermostat in the back was a pain, so I put the new one you know, out here, you can work on it. The sensing bulb, you don't want it out here because the fans are going to hit it, so you kind of want it a little to the back, and it'll get some return air back to the uh, bulb there. But um, other than that, that's going to be it for this freezer. Everything's all done here. So um, Another question I have uh, for you guys is uh, I ran the wires in the liquid tight. Some people like to use SJ cord. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys use that, but if you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, sometimes in walking coolers and stuff, I see it. Maybe if it's gonna stay in the back of the evaporator, but I wouldn't really trust it running it out here or somewhere where people can hit it or pull on it. But uh, in you guys' experience, have you ever ran SJ cord in the freezer or in, in, a, in a cooler? Uh, let me know. Alright, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.